particular mosque here. But it's a beautiful structure, minarets on top, and there are quite a few mosques around here. What's good fam? Right now we're in downtown Dar es Salaam here at Samora Street. What's good fam? Right now we're in downtown Dar es Salaam here at Samora Street. I'm gonna take a nice walk, check out the place, see what the vibe is like here in the evening time. Now this is winter season here in Tanzania, so you have days where it's quite cloudy and the weather today is around, let's say 25 degrees. So it's still cool, I'm still wearing a t-shirt, so let's check out the vibe. This is Samora Street. We're in the heart of downtown Dar es Salaam. I did a video a few months right on this street not too long ago and um, it was a good vibe it was much more sunnier that day but you can see now as it's winter there's not much um, sun as how it was before but it's still a good vibe and I'm liking it so one of the things you'll notice when you come here no matter what time of the year you'll always find people selling different things like by the side streets yeah so a common feature that you'll see throughout different parts of tanzania when you come you'll see people selling various fruits and stuff and even when you're downtown you'll still find people selling it by the side um by the road so if you're driving past or walking past you're never um shot of finding fruits and stuff if you want to buy that so that's the vibe that you can see the sellers are out here selling what they're selling right here right now and yeah that's the vibe so it's so the time now it's around 4 p.m and you can see it's, it's very much um cloudy today um you know that's that's the vibe here during july august period here in tanzania winter time but it's still um a cool cool vibe here man the weather is real cool around 25 degrees you still get up, um, the sea breeze because we're very close to the um port here in Dar es Salaam not too far away where you will get the um, boat if you're going to Zanzibar so yeah this is a vibe we're coming up to the Lee Grande casino here in Dar es Salaam this is where a lot of people come and when they feel into spend that bread you know come and have a good time at the casino there's also banks and stuff in there as well there's an airtel shop so if you need to get a sim card you can get all of that here on um samora street here in um, dar es salaam we're not too far from kisutu and that area is very much um it has a large tanzanian indian population so you'll find a lot of asian shops restaurants and stuff like that there's a few mosques there as well and also um, Hindu temple, Sikh Gudrara temple as well. So yeah, that's the vibe down these sides. So far I'm liking what I'm seeing. The road's quite clean, I must say. And everything seems to be quite calm in this section of Dar es Salaam. So the vibe is cool, guys. coming up to a little seating area here and you get a lot of people that come and sit down here have a cup of coffee and stuff during the evening time like literally to the right where you see a lot of the people standing like over there that's where they're selling um the coffee tea and different things like that you notice that throughout Dar es Salaam like despite it being really hot you still get sellers that walk around with mambo vipi ah yeah you still get people coming around selling um coffee and stuff during the evening time i've been here in the summer we're in the winter time and it's the same vibe guys
So we're gonna take a look, we're gonna take a ride here and um, we're gonna walk up to more older section of town and see what the vibe is like here on this street. Some of the buildings are a bit dated but you still get people that um, operate their businesses here from clothing, car parts, cosmetics and different things like that so yeah this is pretty much the vibe now if you really pay attention and you watch closely throughout the video you'll notice that you'll find a lot of people Tanzanian Indians you'll find a lot of them in um, in this section of town and that's because this is this part is where a lot of them do business in um, Dar es Salaam Now apart from um, apart from some of the buildings being dated with what, which what I said, you notice that you do have some modern structures popping up and this is one of them here and these are all apartments that's been coming up and you got businesses downstairs like they're selling perfume, sunglasses and all of that and there's a moss right next to it so the modernization happening Rehan Jewelers that's one of the business you'll find um, in these parts of the Dar es Salaam this is a moss over there guys, really beautiful Another thing is, in this side of town you'll find a lot of budget hotels as well Like, this is one right here it's called Hotel Nico Tower but for some people they may not want to be staying in a hotel which is pretty much a business area with so much shops and stuff so you may prefer to stay near to the beach or whatever but if you want to be downtown you want to be near to the port where you want to go to maybe Zanzibar and stuff like that then this side of town is a good place to be Traffic in Dar es Salaam in the evening is legendary. I'm telling you. <laughs> it could be a bit of a nightmare sometimes, but they're improving slowly. There have been some improvement. Especially with the new bus system that they've created. Has eased up the traffic a bit. But still, man, I'm telling you. It could be a bit of a headache sometimes, the traffic in Dar es Salaam. So, so we're coming up to not only business places but also apartments I love the high rising buildings you're seeing right now these are all apartments where people live and you'll find a lot of people from the Tanzanian Indian community live here 
Mainly um, of the Muslim Hindu faith, a lot of them coming from that background. And, you, and it's reflected in some of the places of worship you'll see here. Like over there, that's the mosque I was telling you about. So like, this is a business place and their house is at the top. Now if you know anything about people from the Indian community when they travel to different places, one of the things I, ob I have observed, no matter where it will be, in the Caribbean, Africa, they'll usually, if they're living in downtown, in a, in a particular country, you'll find they got a house on top and business downstairs. So they live upstairs and the shop is on the ground floor. So that's something um, I'm seeing here right now. It's been reflected even here as I'm in Tanzania. These are the local Dala Dala guys. That's what it looks like. This shop is quite um, popular here in Tanzania. It's, you can get a lot of ice cream and stuff like that here. So whatever you're in Dar es Salaam, check them out. Every time, if I, if I was to compare like, when I'm in like Milimani city side, um, let's say Miko Cheney, and then I come here, I always feel like I've gone back in time. Because this part of Dar es Salaam, you can, it feels much more older. And that's because I guess because of the buildings and stuff. And it got a, a, a very much coastal Swahili type of feel because you see a lot of people wearing the kofia and that's the, Swahili type hats, you see a lot of that. There are a lot of people, women wearing hijabs. So, so it's a totally different feel, but I like it. And despite some of the buildings being dated, from what I'm seeing, there's a lot of modern structures being built as well at the same time. So right now we're in Kisutu. If you look straight down where I'm pointing there, that's like where the bus stand is. And right here you'll find tea shops, um, barbecue places. If you're into like barbecue chicken and stuff like that, then you'll get that here as well. You know, mish mishkaki, and that's like the grilled beef and stuff on the stick. You get all of that here in downtown very open space and in the evening time you get a lot of people that come out here just to sit outside eat and you know socialize with their friends have ice cream and just chill out relatively a safe place you can walk here lay at night and you'll be all right so i'm literally outside one of those places here in Dar es Salaam and just over there where you can see the chairs you'll find a, um, that's one of the spots where you could come and eat and it's right in Kisutu. So if you don't have to worry about anything, once you get to Kisutu, then you literally take a nice walk and you'll see these places. You can't miss it. We're right in Kisutu, baby. So this is the new bus system here in Tanzania. Very 
effective and it has helped a lot in terms of traffic congestion here in Dar es Salaam. If you notice, this road is quite wide. There isn't any built up of traffic here. Everything is just flowing smoothly. So this is it, this is the vibe here. These are houses down there, apartments. And this here is another grill place as well, you can see. So you can see some of the businesses that's popping up which seem to be doing quite well in Tanzania anything to do with um, information technology will do well here so over there they're selling printers, laptops, um, phone chargers, mobile devices, different things like that so this is the business businesses which are some of the new, newer businesses which are popping up at this side of town and it's doing quite well because as people get more income and make more money people are willing to buy more modern stuff so these businesses caters to the people's needs for that So Islam is one of the main religions, one of the main religions here in Tanzania and this is reflected um, by some of the buildings that you'll see and this here is a mosque here and one of the, this mosque you'll find people more of the Tanzanian Indian community coming here you do get some locals that come here but it's mainly from what I've seen, mainly people from that background that Kill comes to mosque here. But it's a beautiful structure, minarets on top, and there are quite a few mosques around here. In Swahili, mosque is Misikiti. So this is a Misikiti here in Kisutu. And there's another one further down. One thing you'll notice in Tanzania, especially in um, some areas here in Dar es Salaam, where you live, you'll hear the call to prayer five times a day. And on Sundays, you hear a lot of singing and stuff if you live near to a church. In Kiswahili, the word for church is Kanisa. Mosque is Miskiti and church is Kanisa. 
Like right now we're walking, I'm going to be a bit quiet and you'll hear the sounds to the call to prayer. I think now is Asr, Salat al Asr. So it's the evening prayers here in Dar Salaam. That's the, that's the recitation of the Holy Quran and it's been read in the language of Arabic. So now I'm on one of the back streets here and it's very much quiet, not much happening. But at the end of the street, you can see some people selling um, Tikit Imaji. Tikit Imaji in Swahili means watermelon. Very popular fruit here in Tanzania. So this is one of the apartments, this is where you will find a lot of people living, people live here, high rising building and they got a, a parking lot or a car park on the ground floors and then at, at the top these are all apartments. And you'll find a lot of people who live here, they come from the Tanzania and Indian community here in Tanzania. Many of them have migrated to Tanzania a number of years ago and pretty much have integrated in the society. You have some of them that speaks uh, the language of Kiswahili. And this area here is where a lot of them do business. Yeah, this is just a casual stroll guys, you know, we're just 
you know, taking a nice walk, exploring the city, you know how it goes, seeing what's good. And this is Dar Salaam. These are all businesses, baby clothes, small bakery, all of that you'll get here, man. That's lazy. Salama. One of the things you notice about this side of town, though, from my experience, like things are a bit more expensive here. Even when it comes to food and different things like that. This is a more, I find things are a bit more expensive here. But at the same time, you're, pay, you're paying for certain comforts, better, better seating areas for eating, you know, different things like that. So, and plus the location, I'm sure certain businesses here, the rent will be much more expensive. So they have to put the price up, but if you look, if, if you're on a tight string budget and you don't mind where you eat and stuff like that, you may want to look somewhere else. But if not, come through and show love, man. Check out the place. Buildings around for a long time. I'm sure people who are watching this video if you've been here if you lived here in the past tell me about your experience in this side of Dar Salaam Halal, best meat butchers. Got a butcher shop here. So it's halal. So people from the people from the Muslim community will be happy to see that they got halal butchers here. You know. So yeah. This is the vibe. So we're right next to Kisutu bus station. All right. So where we have just walked, once you get to Kisutu bus station, you can get a boat, you can get your taxi or whatever to come to Kisutu bus station. And once you get here, you can just take a nice walk and wander around and check out some of the shops and buildings you've just seen. In the evening times, Gioni, evening times, you'll find a lot of people that sets up uh, the barbecue stalls right here and people and they put chairs when people come out and eat if you've watched my previous video in the past where when I was out here in the eat, like late evening you'll have seen a lot of um, barbecue stalls and all of that out here man so yeah it's a good vibe That's a bus station, Kisutu. And this is a bus. Buses that come to this station.
You see in London, yeah, not too long ago, like let's say six years ago, they used to have long, we um, used to call them the bendy buses. And they remind, and these blue buses reminds me of them. They don't have them anymore in England, but long time ago we used to have them. So that style is now copied here in Tanzania for the new um, bus system that they have going on. And I did a video about that as well. You don't want to check it out. You get to see what inside the buses look like as well. And for those who are new, if you don't know, I do have a course on Udemy. If you're interested in traveling throughout Tanzania for an affordable price, I have all the information that you ever need. So check me out. I'll put the link in the description below this video. This side of the street here, not too far from where we was in Kisutu, you have something called Korosho. Now Korosho in Kiswahili means cashew nuts. And right here, these are all cashew nuts going for various prices, starting at let's say five um two thousand, five thousand, nine thousand Tanzanian shillings, different prices depending on the size. So if you're a person that likes cashew nuts. It's in abundance here in Tanzania. Very affordable. Everything's in Tanzanian shillings. You do the conversion rate, man. You could get cashew nuts for starting at one US dollar. You can get a packet, a small packet. We did a video not too long ago. This is Sokoku Lakisutu. And that is the Indo market here in Dar Salaam, Kisutu market. Very, very um, orderly, clean. So if you're not really an open air market type of person, you want something inside, then you can check out Kisutu market. And on this channel, I got um, a lot of videos even when i went inside there i spoke to some of the sellers and stuff like that so it's a good vibe across the road from where we are right now that where i'm pointing over there that is city mall it's a small mall it's not as big but you can get um you know things like clothing mobile stuff there's a supermarket in there as well in case you need to go to the supermarket there's also um like a place where you can get a massage and get your hair done and stuff so yeah that's city mall it's called city mall and it's right next to kisutu market so this place is very much easy to na navigate around um easy to find it's not a problem at all guys so this is just a casual afternoon walk on a nice cloudy day here in dar salaam my impressions of it it's been a good vibes i like it peace out and until the next one